Hi guys, welcome to Electric Radiators Direct, the home of electric heating. Today I'm going to be pitting the four main heating systems against each other. Gas, oil, electric and heat pumps. I'll be breaking down all their running costs from installation and maintenance to day-to-day -day usage, plus answering one of your frequently asked questions. Which system offers most ways to save money? Before I dive in, it's important to note that the cost of each system can vary significantly depending on various factors, such as fuel and electricity prices in your region, the size and installation levels of your home, and of course, your own personal heating habits. So if you're considering upgrading your heating, be sure to shop around for quotes before making any major decisions. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell for more electric heating content. Okay, let's start with the initial upfront costs you can expect when installing each system. If you're looking for a budget-friendly option, Gas Central Heating has an average installation cost of around £2,500. Considering 80% of UK homes already use this as their main heating system, chances are you might only need to fork out for a new boiler, which starts at around £600. Both gas and oil systems require boiler fitting and pipe work, but with oil, you'll need an oil tank installed, which will add to the total cost, bringing it up to around £4,500. Electric heating is another affordable option since you don't need to worry about plumbing. While many heaters are DIY friendly, a full installation requires hard wiring to the mains to avoid overloading the circuit. Costs can range between £3,000 and £4,000 depending on the complexity of the job. Now, if you're thinking about going with heat pumps, get ready to open your wallet. This low carbon option involves some serious modifications to your property. Air source heat pumps are less complicated to install, but still expect to pay anything from 7,000 to 14,000 pounds. As for ground source heat pumps, you're looking at a whopping 15,000 to 35,000 pound price tag. Definitely not for the faint of heart or wallet. Now moving on to maintenance. In general, oil heating tends to have the highest maintenance fees. With regular boiler servicing, tank inspections, and cleaning or replacing filters, costs average between 100 to 200 pounds per year. Gas and heat pumps have slightly less expensive maintenance costs, ranging from 80 pounds to 150 pounds. For gas systems, this includes boiler servicing, checking the flue and ventilation, and any replacement parts that you might need. Heat pump maintenance involves checking refrigerant levels and cleaning or replacing air filters. One huge benefit of electric heating is that it's virtually maintenance free. With no combustible fuel source to worry about, there's no need for yearly servicing. Plus, since electric doesn't contain moving parts, each unit is standalone. This means any potential problems won't affect the rest of the system, making upkeep and replacement parts much more manageable. Now let's look at how much it costs to run each system. This is where the numbers really start to vary since there are so many variables at play. On average, it costs around £1,800 per year to heat a home with an oil boiler. For a gas-heated home, Checker Trade reports increasing average annual costs of around £1,500. Heat pumps are widely regarded as the most efficient option as they generate more heat than the electricity needed to operate them. The running cost of an air source heat pump can be around £1,000 per year, while a ground source heat pump costs around 1,300. Electric has the highest running costs of all systems, averaging at 32 pence per kilowatt hour as of 2023. When it comes to managing this, homeowners with storage heaters can take advantage of cheaper nighttime tariffs. However, modern electric radiators offer you ways to save money even during peak hours. More on that in a second. It's worth mentioning that the price of gas, oil and electricity tend to fluctuate, so if you're looking for greater stability when it comes to running costs, heat pumps are your best bet since they're more reliant on the efficiency of the system itself. Finally, it's good to keep in mind that the current price of fuel doesn't always determine the cheapest heating system. A less efficient system might end up being more expensive in the long run, even if fuel is currently cheaper. So let's look at our frequently asked question, which systems offer the most ways to save money? Without a doubt, electric heaters and heat pumps have the biggest range of energy saving features to help keep bills down. Smart electric heating takes things a step further with zoning capabilities, Wi-Fi app control and 24 seven programming. We have a whole video dedicated to this topic. So to learn all the ways smart control can help you save, 
be sure to check it out. Since electric heaters are inherently more energy efficient than fuel-based systems, you're guaranteed to only pay for the electricity you use without any system losses. Ceramic electric radiators and infrared heaters are especially efficient. Their use of radiation results in robust, long-lasting warmth, even in spaces that might be harder to heat. They rarely have to work at their full wattage to maintain ideal temperatures, giving you even more value for money. Another way to save money is by generating your own electricity through renewable energy sources. Installing solar panels in your home is a steep investment, but it's a viable option worth considering in the long run. For more information, check out our other video, Carbon Neutral Heating, Electric Radiators Make It Easy. So with all that said and done, which heating system has the cheapest running costs? Here comes the catch 22. As we've noted, heat pumps have the lowest running costs, but with such significant installation and maintenance fees, it could take years before you see a return on your investment. While gas and oil heating systems also have lower running costs, many households are spending more due to outdated systems and poor energy efficiency in their homes. And because of the complicated nature of fuel-based systems, they're much harder to modernise. Despite having higher running costs, electric heating has lower installation and maintenance fees. By using smart electric heating and heaters that emit radiant heat, you can take advantage of a wealth of energy saving features to reduce your overall consumption. Plus, if you pair your electric heaters with a renewable energy source such as solar panels, you'll be able to save even more money long term, whilst also helping to reduce your carbon emissions. Integration with smart control systems and other advances means electric heating is becoming more efficient and easier to control. With the growing importance of low carbon heating and the imminent 2025 gas boiler ban, running costs should stabilise in the future. And of course, the insulation quality of your home plays a crucial role, regardless of the heating system you have. Double glazing, wall and roof insulation, and draft roofing are all effective ways to reduce running costs and keep your home comfortable. And that's a wrap. I hope you found this video helpful in understanding the complex world of heating costs and why it's not as simple as just throwing out a few figures. Every homeowner's circumstances are unique and each heating system comes with their own pros and cons when it comes to costs. The best advice we can give is to do your research and consult with a heating professional to help make the best choice for you. Choosing the right solution is a long-term investment and with attitudes towards sustainability and longevity changing, your replacement heating system is not a decision to be taken lightly. Any questions, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.